in this video we're going to be focusing on finding limits around jumps and you'll notice i changed my definition here just a little bit so it says the limit as x approaches one of f of x equals the y value we are going to from the left and the right assuming they match okay so that's what happens when you have jumps is that they don't match okay so a jump would be do you like my wiggly axis? We'll just keep it. Okay, let's say that I had a function and then it just is physically broken apart and then does something else. Okay. All right, and let's say that here, this is going to the number one and we'll say that this one's going to the number two. Okay, so of course, of course, in calculus, they ask you about the funky spot. They're like, yeah, we don't care about where it's all connected and good. We care about that spot where it's broken. Okay, so what happens when I'm walking on this graph is as I'm approaching it from the left, I'm going to a y value of one. And as I'm approaching it from the right, I'm going to a y value of two. And in fact, the way we write left and right is from the left, you write a minus sign because it's coming from the negative direction. So from the left, let's go back. From the left, we're going to a y value of one. From the right, if I go back to my picture, from the right, I'm going to a y value of two. Do these numbers match? No, no. One does not equal two in this world. Sorry, guys. So when that happens, what we say is that the limit does not exist. When these two numbers are different, it does not exist. When you have a jump, a physical break in the graph, so this is not the whole or removable discontinuity we talked about last time because um, if this were a whole, it would look like that. It would be connected still, right? A jump is a broken piece of the freeway, guys. Like the freeway ends, picks up somewhere else. Okay, so when you have a jump, the limit will always be does not exist. Okay, so let me go ahead and do another one. So if we had a graph and we can make it as funky as you like, we can do another weird W. Okay, if I ask you what the limit as X approaches one is of this graph, I can see there's a jump. If there's a jump, we're done, guys. It does not exist, okay? By the way, if there was another floating dot, don't care. It's still broken. It is does not exist. So the limit as you're approaching a jump is does not exist. 